Okay, so if you like tennis, but you find it just a little too hard to learn or play, there is an alternative out there. Sandra Indo is live in Venice with a look at what's called pop tennis. I've never heard of this, Sandra. Yes, I am working on my hand-eye coordination this morning, warming up here Absolutely. in Venice. I want to join are these guys behind me who are oh. certainly making this game pop. Take a look at them. They are pros out here this morning. This is not tennis. This is more fun, more exciting, and definitely accessible for everyone, even like a beginner like me. Oh. Ah! So this is definitely different than just your regular tennis. Yeah. It has different paddles, a different type of court, a different ball, and I will break it all down at seven o'clock oh. if I make it that far. So apparently this has been around forever and I'm just finding well, out about it. This has it. been around for more than 100 years actually and, and the thing about it is that uh, people are now who are behind this whole effort trying to, to get it internationally recognized, especially perhaps even as an Olympic, Olympic sport. sport. This is a sport, about? I had no idea where this was going, it was overwritten. <laughs> Uh, here's a sport called pop tennis. It's like abbreviated tennis, and Sandra Endo's been on the court here all morning. And it's not new. It is not oh, new. No. I have new seen Kenny Lindner new. playing this for years. <laughs> exactly. Yes, I've seen, I've seen Kenny out there in Venice doing this all the time. That's right. He's actually here with us, Steve, and uh, he is it's making beautiful. a big push for rebranding the sport. This has actually been around for 100 years. It's called pop tennis now, though, but m many people know it as paddleboard, and this is my first time playing, and it's highly addictive, and clearly I'm not that good, so uh, getting beautiful. some good tips here from these national champions who are out here this morning to talk about the whole movement on how this sport is really growing. Let me take a break here. Bring Sandra. in Kenny Linder. Thank you so much it's for talking pleasure. to us about this sport and what you're doing to advance it. Tell us a little bit how this is different from tennis. Well, it's different because, first of all, the court is smaller, the net is lower, the ball is less lively, and you start the point off by serving underhand, so it's much easier for the returner server to hit it. So accessible for everyone, accessible even for everyone. newcomers can, like me. Absolutely. You can begin to play as you did wonderfully the first time out. And you play this from age five to 95. And take a look at the rackets. They're much yes. different because you have with you a tennis racket. Right, so you can see the difference between in the size. two. And the great part about it is, is that because the racket is closer to your hand, you have much more control. Mm -hmm. You really feel the ball on the racket. And I love this. You're very humble right now, but you're a champion. You're a collegiate champion. Oh, you. You've been playing since seven years old. Let me see this racket right here. This Tell is the racket that, one. that I want a national championship with when I was 17 years old. And the difference is, this is made of wood and it has no give. This the one, new rackets, right. which are fiberglass, have plenty of give. As they say, it's buttery. And you can feel the deadened tennis ball on the racket, so you have much more control. All right, we'll have some fun out here this morning and talk about this movement to make this possibly an Olympic sport. Check it out here. These guys are amazing. Let's go back to you in the studio. Well, wait a minute. Before you go, that Kenny Linder. I recognize that guy, huh? Oh, yeah. Well, he's Sarah, hard to miss. He's a big-time agent. He's a big-time he agent. He has some serious this is my clients. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been playing pop tennis since I was seven years he old. Says, he says, they say back in the newsroom you have some uh, top, top shelf clients. I do, I do. <laughs> Absolutely. In fact, the ones in the newsroom yeah. are my top shelf clients. <laughs> All right. Sandra, tell them next time to wear something a little brighter because yeah. we can't really now, see where is Kenny. I can't. Well, he's a little pop embarrassed. Tennis. And everything yeah. about it pops. The ball pops off there the racket. Go. The clothes Kenny pop. pop. Yeah. The ball pops when you're yes. getting it. It's he one is so score. on message. He is on message. <laughs> Look at All the right. shoes. Get the shoes. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh All right. right. Wow. I love the socks. <laughs> thank you, Kenny. I love the socks. Thank so. you, Sandra. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. Kenny Linda, thank you, Sandra. Thank you. My really. career lies in this land. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Kenny's outfit. He's My a good salesman. Got when he me. You're you. here. When he represents <laughs> he you. He sold you to us. <laughs> when he represents you, does he dress like that? That's what I want to know. Let's go Don't out there right up. now, Sandra. My friend Endo Sandra. And our friend Sandra to explain why she's out there and what's going on. Yeah, I'm ready, guys. I've been practicing for an hour here on the courts in Venice, and this is no ordinary tennis game. This is pop tennis. Oh, come on, bring it on, bring it on. I'm so ready for you guys. Yeah, what, 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 what you got, what you got? That was just a little, little thing. Wait, hold on. 
not only are these guys like national champions, they're teaching me a lot about this sport. Melissa, help me out here because I'm using my feet, which I'm not supposed to. Look at her hand. Oh, wow. Look at that. All right, let me get out of the way so you can really see how it's done here. This is known as paddle Beautiful. tennis in some areas, but it's really called pop tennis, and there's a whole movement to make this sport an, a cohesive sport yeah. across the country and across the world, and Ken Lindner is responsible for all that. Tell me a little bit about this movement and what you're doing for the sport here. Well, Sandra, basically, paddle tennis has been around for over 100 years, but the thing is, in New York City, in the Midwest, there's a sport called platform paddle tennis, and too many people refer to platform paddle tennis as paddle tennis as well, so there's brand or sport confusion. So we have decided to rebrand paddle tennis and call it pop tennis, pop art, pop entertainment, pop culture. And you are popping. Look at this outfit. I have nothing on you. I cannot compete today, but I love the colors. I love the fact that it's whole new energy into this sport because yes. of your movement. And you want to make this, what, an Olympic sport? How's that going? Well, what we want to do is make it a prominent national, international, and then an Olympic sport. We think it's an amazing game because it's fast, it's fun, it's easier to play. It requires fast hands, but you can do it. So we think it has tremendous potential and allure from people from five years old to 95. Absolutely, it's so fun. I just started playing today with your help. These paddles are very different than your normal tennis racket. Right. And I should say you've been playing since you were seven. You're seven a national champion. Yes. Thank you so much for teaching My us today. Pleasure, Take a Sandra. look at how fun it is out here. And uh, Maria yeah, and Steve Sandra, say hello to you. They see you on the Sandra, court Sandra, the Sandra, Sandra, stop, stop. You're talking to Kenny Olivia. Look, look at what he's wearing. <laughs> did Kenny, know, did you do I an outfit change? I did an he outfit did. change, Maria. Oh, love it. How are you both? What a superstar. Actually, star. all three of you. How are we doing is oh, the we're better great. question. great. How are you? Kenny Linder is I right. am yes. fantastic. I'm having a great time here with Sandra, and I just think of you in the studio, and I have the warmest of feelings. Aww. And we should say they're missing out, I feel. We Absolutely. are. Yeah, it's so much fun out here, you guys. Kenny you should go out. clubbing where there's a black light. <laughs> Because yeah. he would be no, happy. No, this is the only club he wants. The dark. Hey, you know what, Kenny? I'm going to come out there. I want to play this game. Sure you do. I'm Steve, looking for you know what? A sport, I would be yeah. thrilled and honored, my friend. We would love to have you Let's come out. Let's not get carried away, Truly. Kenny. Yeah. And, and I'll too. save you a parking spot. I'll save you a parking we spot, We don't need Steve. one. We no, live no, on no, the we'll inside that side of town. Hey, Kenny, thank you so thank much. You. Sandra, thank, thank you. Thank you for sharing your passion. It's a pleasure to be on Good Day LA. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you, Kenny. Okay. Uh, let Did me just say this about Kenny Linder. Kenny is a, an agent. He represents a lot of people here uh, at the station, including you. And He's been and in the business Tony. forever. He's been a friend of mine yeah. uh, forever. And he is so sincere that you have to get past the fact that you think he isn't because he's that he's sincere. The real deal. He's the real guy. And he's as the much real as deal. he loves his clients and the business, that is his real passion. Well, he was a passion. college tennis champion. Yeah, you know, Harvard. Well, yeah. Sam, so it is only fitting that he reps you because you are our fluorescent color oh, on stop. set. Wow. Um, <laughs> he went to Harvard and now he, it's now to representing you. Let's go back to Venice. Let's go back to the courts. Let's go back to Sandra and uh, Sandra. I'm getting done with this. Tennis I've ever I'm, seen. I'm not, yeah, I'm not showboating here. This is actually a drill to improve hand eye coordination, and that's pretty much where I've been relegated to doing drills here because take a look at my coaches out here this morning. They're, they have a match going on, having a lot of fun here. This is pop tennis, not your traditional paddleboard tennis or, or paddle tennis, I should say. And and regular tennis, this is fun, it's different, a smaller court, shorter net, you can take a look at the form, and it's just a whole different type of tennis, and hey guys, how fun is this, why do you love this, and do you love the fact that it's being called pop tennis now, rather than paddle tennis? Yeah, for sure, pop tennis, it shows energy right off the bat, like just the name alone, popular, pop, pop culture, pop, you know, pop tennis, I mean, you look around here, the courts are filled, because of the, just the energy it brings alone, you know, um, awesome, what do you think? The sound of the ball popping off the racket it's really fun a lot easier a lot better for the body than tennis and you guys you know are what? tennis pros too i should say four time ranking us open champion you're a pro too as well austin two austins here they're my coaches this morning austin squid yeah we austin, yeah. really love it it's it's been an awesome sport for us and you know we want to really continue to grow it yeah i'm more addicted to this than tennis and i've played tennis all my life so yeah definitely addicting i have to bring in kenny linder who is Sandra. pretty much promoting this movement. We yes. have to wrap real quickly, but tell us a little bit about how big 
this has been growing? Well, it's been growing exponentially, and it's going to continue to grow because it's a great sport. I mean, look at these courts. Look at the women, look at the men, all ages. It's incredible. All right, yeah, it's fun. Try it out. It's so hugely addicting, and we've had fun here all morning. Oh, Thank you so wonderful. much. Let's send it back to you guys in the newsroom. Bye, guys. Best wardrobe for any sport. Or Santa, Santa or Carrie. All of them. All of it looks good.